tomorrow. Go get some meds with this recipe, okay? Why again? Hey, didn't you tell me it's too bitter? I went to see Dr. Jong after morning exercise and had him write you a new prescription. He told me that this one, really good, doesn't smell. So that's another three months of treatment again. Three months is fine. But what if I still can't get pregnant after this? Don't get frustrated. Have confidence in yourself, okay? Think about it. If we have a kid in this family, things will be perfect. We'll have everything. Just be patient, okay? Let's not rush it. Okay, Mom. As long as it works, I'll drink anything. How long have you been married? Seven years. Ah. We've been using birth control before. Now we really want to have a baby, but I just can't seem to get pregnant. And I've had a lot of physical exams. And I'm even taking Chinese medicine, but nothing's working. You're the famous Jin the Holy Hand. I just really want to know, is there hope for me? Well, it doesn't seem like there are any major problems. You do have an endocrine disorder. You'd better stop taking those folk remedies and herbal medicines, okay? Yeah? Start taking care of your body. Oh. And bring your husband in next time. He should get a checkup too. Oh, okay. Ah. Thank you, Dr. Jin. <laughs> Lanshin, the new designer who started three months ago. But the designers here were all guys before. Oh, come on. That was before. Hey, Lanshin is 32 and single. I mean, young women should want to get married as soon as possible, you know? Because once you turn 30, you're just not that attractive anymore. Where did you get this photo? It was on my computer. I found it when someone was fixing it. He said it's a virus. Damn right this is a virus! I didn't know that little hussy was after your husband! Xiao Chang, you know what? You've got to kill this virus good and dead! In office romance like this, it's a bomb ready to explode. It is a bomb ready to explode. People find out about these things. But with only this picture, I don't think he'll admit anything about having an affair. Men will lie to you up and down and swear they aren't having an affair. That's why you have to catch them in bed. Catch them in bed. Why would I do that? I don't want a divorce. Ever since I got married, all I've cared about is his family. I never thought that he would cheat on me. The first time I saw this photo, I mean, I just, I was just blindsided. I just didn't know what to do. I know, dear. Family is the most important thing to you. 
But you just can't let something like this go on, can you? I have to protect my marriage, no matter what it takes. Right. No matter what, that woman should go to hell. <laughs> oh, don't cry. <laughs> Still here? Uh, leaving right now. Stairs. Water's leaking from my ceiling. Can I come in and have a look? I think you should come with the property manager. Okay, then I'll go try finding them. It's all right. You're already here. Come in and take a look. See what's leaking. See if it's my problem. Do you have some slippers? Oh, let me get them. You can't wear these. Okay. So where do you think it's coming from? Master bedroom. Oh, give me just a minute. Let me go clean up the bathroom first.
Thank you. I'll go find the property manager. Oh, you're welcome. The computer repairman. What's wrong with you? You fixed my computer. I spilled your tea on it, and you dried it with a hairdryer. I was that lady. Why are you dressed up like some kind of ghost? You live here too? Uh-huh. You live on the eighth floor? Yeah. We're here. Uh... It's beeping. Problem. Oh my god, luckily my girlfriend isn't here. If she saw this, I'd never hear the end of it. Now get out of here! Are you gonna go or not? I'll call the police if you don't leave! <sighs> what the? <sighs> what are you. <sighs> I want to rent your room. Who are you renting it for? For myself. Are you kidding me? You're living in that big house. Why do you want to rent my crappy room? To store some things. To store what things? I obey the law. I'm not doing anything illegal. Don't worry. I have a clothing business. And you know what? My husband's having an affair. And we're about to get a divorce. So I'm thinking... I'll separate my business from my husband's company. And then just run it by myself. So I need to find a place where I can store my inventory and keep it safe. Do you really have a clothing company? Just wait a minute. This is my ID. You can keep a copy of it. Please don't worry. You're not the only one who obeys the laws. How could I tell you are with all that makeup? Do you sell men or women's clothes? Women's clothing. Is what you're wearing some of your own stuff? All of it is. Oh, so you went on a catwalk today or something? And that's nice makeup. Pretty modern. Over there. That's my girlfriend. She's pretty and has a great body. I think she'd look pretty good in your clothes. Next time, if you have some new stuff, could you give her some? 
<laughs> it doesn't have to be new. No, it's okay. She can choose from our new designs every season. You know, I don't think there will be any problem renting to you, but that price I wrote on the poster was for a place to live. I can offer you a price for storage. How much do you want? I was thinking at least fifteen hundred to two thousand. I'll give you three thousand. I let me show you the room. I don't need to see it. Hey, you're taking a lot of faith here. All right, don't worry. You can trust me. How about this? I think the room's too small. I have a balcony here. I don't ever really use it. You can put your clothes out here. Let me show you. Come here. Come here. The balcony is pretty big. I usually don't put things out here. The best part is the way it faces. It looks out to the southwest, so it gets a lot of sunlight in the afternoon. If you put clothes here, you won't like humidity, right? That won't be such a problem here. Oh right, I almost forgot. Unfortunately, it's too close to the balcony next door, and there's a block of stone in the middle, so it's easy to climb over it. I I won't climb over it. I swear I obey the law. Oh, you actually came home. You didn't have dinner at home. Where were you? Hmm? Why are you dressed like that? And what's that thing in your hand? You <laughs> shout shout. What's going on with you? Do you mind explaining this? What's there to explain? I didn't buy this, which only can mean the one you wore home is different. Than the one you put on in the morning. What's this bullshit you're talking about? I cut off all the spare buttons from your shirts, but the spare button for this shirt is still there. Look and see for yourself. And so what? Are you sure that you cut off every shirt's spare button? Where are you going? I have cut off every single one of your spare buttons. I keep them all in here. Take a look. I have also washed and ironed every single shirt that you wear to work, but this one here doesn't feel like it's been washed yet. Which woman bought it for you? So you're flying off the wall, all because of this. Fine. I should apologize to you first. I didn't tell you about this, okay? Yesterday I went to a meeting, and I drank some wine. Then I got an upset stomach and threw up on my shirt. But I had to work in the afternoon, so I had to buy the exact same shirt and put it on. That's what happened. Now you understand. You're lying. 
I'm lying? <laughs> you don't have to believe me. What do you want to do, Yu Xiaojia? Huh? Look at the way you're acting right now. If you keep doing this, it'll just keep pushing us further apart. Think about it. What husband has to put in a request for leave when he goes out? What wife cuts off all the spare buttons on her husband's shirt just to be safe? Who wouldn't think that you were crazy? Why are you being so defensive? I cut off the buttons because I wanted your shirt to be comfortable. Is that so wrong? I asked you to write notes telling me where you are so your family doesn't have to worry. And I always let you know exactly where I am, don't I? I don't need that. Don't tell me anything. All I need is a little bit of space, just a little privacy. Why do you need space and privacy? We're an old married couple. In this, I'm you and you're me. I'm your private space and you are my private space. But you'll smother me to death this way. Are you dead? Aren't you alive and well? I'd rather die. Oh, come on, don't you understand, men? You're the only man I've ever loved. I've never been with anyone else. When we got married and made a vow, it means we would never leave each other. I know you like the back of my hand. I know every little thing about you. Isn't that how couples are supposed to be? I do this because I love Your you. Your love is going to be the death of me. I can't love like this. Don't go. I need to know the truth. Don't leave until you tell me the truth. Okay. Fine, you, Xiao Chao. If you want to hear the truth, then I will tell you the truth. Ever since you quit your job, what have you been doing? You check my wallet, my email, my phone, and I let it all go. You've been suspicious of every single woman I've ever known. Every night at midnight, if I'm not home, you have to call me. You know what people at work say about you calling? They say it's like a phone call in a horror movie. We were having a good life. But you have taken our love story and turned it into a horror movie. Don't you understand the way you are acting is a little bit scary? Maybe I wasn't clear earlier. You can either believe me or not believe me. I don't really care. I'll sleep in the guest room. doing getting a quilt why are you getting a quilt I'm sleeping in the guest room hey what are you talking about if you do that how are you gonna have a baby i don't want a baby what do you mean you had a fight listen mom i'm just sick of her nagging me darling she nags you because she loves you the day she stops nagging you that's the day your marriage is over then we'll get divorced why would you say that xia chang is a very nice woman apart from her bad temper she's very nice to me how many times have i told you for everything in this world, nothing is better than the original. For a marriage, the first is the best. Okay, stop worrying. Hey, 